Today I'm going to install the optional fold down rear step on a Yamaha EX. First of all, here's a diagram I got from the dealership. I'll have a link for this and a parts list in the description. So you can download these for reference. Let me show you what I have here. Part 38, the main part of the spring loaded step. Number 39, this is the backing plate that goes inside the hull. This is one of the bolts for the backing plate, number 41 and 42. 43, the bottom cover for the step. And 44, the top cover with the screw holes in it. And then 45, this foam sticker that goes on the top cover of the step to make it softer. 46, these bolts hold the top cover to the metal bar. And 47, three hex screws to attach the lower step cover to the top cover. First, I put a piece of tape down to mark the edge of where I want to mount the step. And this thing is spring loaded, so it's constantly pushing the base away from the hull. Luckily, Yamaha put these two holes on here, so I can stick a pin or a nail in there. And now it won't be springing up on me while I'm trying to install it. Now I can hold it steady and mark the holes exactly where I want them. I'm just using a black Sharpie marker. Even though it's black on black, you can still see it in the right light. So this mounts on the inside of the hole. And this double-sided tape helps hold it in place while I'm bolting it in. And these entire round areas will go through the fiberglass. So I've got a big old 5 8 inch drill bit for that. I'm using a center punch in the center of the hole. So the drill bit doesn't slide around when I start drilling. Be sure not to breathe in any of this fiberglass dust. Clean this up a little bit. Let's do a quick test fit just to make sure the holes line up. There's the top one in, and the lower one isn't dropping in the hole. I need to take a little more off the top of that bottom hole. Not quite close enough together. That's better. Now, inside the hole. You can see the holes there. I need to clean any dust with a towel and water. It's pretty tight in there to show this, but I'm just going to peel off the paper and stick this on the inside of the hole. There it is, and here's how it looks from the back. Shut up, Cricket. One last check, everything's good. I'm putting a bead of silicone around the holes just to make this a watertight seal. That can't hurt. Now to bolt it on with the two long bolts. I don't have torque specs, but hand tight should be good. Then torque these number 46 bolts down for the step cover. Again, I'm going hand tight, uh, too tight, and I can crack the plastic. But at the same time, I don't want these coming loose. Next I have these three hex screws, number 47. There's the part number. And the lower half of the plastic cover. These are four millimeter. Once those are all tightened, I can stick on the foam pad. First, I'm gonna clean the surface with some soapy water. Uh, rubbing alcohol would work too. Anything to clean the surface and let this dry. I've got one chance here. Make sure the whole surface is adhered to the step. This looks nice. Pull out the nail and done. Thanks for watching. I've got another video of this Yamaha EX where I show how to install a reverse kit. I'll put a link to that in the description.